big sound in a small town Far away from the big city lights Making music every night Good music with all our friends Tell everybody, tell your mama and them We're going out and we're getting down A big sound in a small town 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 Welcome to season four of Big Sound Small Town. I'm your host, Sandy Carlton. Join me as musicians tell their stories about how they became musicians and the stories along the way. Honey, come on in and we'll run on out down the dirt road. Everybody talks about it's a rowdy crowd from here all night. We're gonna keep Cause when it goes down around town, everybody knows when it goes. With that old whiskey turns into a damn good time. It don't matter who you are or where you come from. When you come across that county line, this party time. Saying where I'm from is any better than where you are. We're throwing down all night because we ain't scared and we're proud of who we are. Because when it goes down around town, everybody knows where to come. But that whiskey turns into a damn good time. It don't matter. come from when you come across that county line it's party time it's party time it's party Thank y'all. I'm Craig Kenny, Mr. Hunter Bright. Thank y'all for having us. I'm Craig Henry. I'm Hunter Bright. I play, uh, uh can we start over? I can edit it. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. I'm in. I'm okay. Here we go. I'm Craig Henry. I play rhythm guitar and lead vocals for the Craig Henry band. I'm Hunter Bright. I play acoustic cajon for the Craig Henry band. Sounds good. So where are you guys out of? I'm out of Gaffney, South Carolina. It's right here across the river here. Right. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that's a pretty good set. You've been playing a while? Been playing for about three years. I picked up my first guitar on the way home from uh, Gaffney High School. One day I was in 11th grade. Never thought anything about playing the guitar. Something just hit me. I was right down the road listening to the old Zach Brown band, Highway 20 Ride song. And I love that guitar starting to that song. And I said, I think I can play that. So I went to uh, uh, Money Matters Pawn in Gaffney, South Carolina. And Walked in there and I said, uh, looking to buy a guitar. And the guy said, well, what kind of guitar do you play? I said, well, I don't, I don't play guitar. And he said, well, here's an old 
here's my only one that's got six strings on it. I said, well, I'll take it as an old Ibanez, and that's what I started learning playing on. Self-taught, started gigging around Gaffney, and yeah. made my way to Nashville, wrote some songs with some people, and now, here we are. I was going to ask you about writing. So you got your own stuff you do, right? I do. Uh, on, what is it, Craig in your band on Craig YouTube? Okay, yeah, let's Craig. go ahead. Yeah, let's go ahead and plug that. So what can they hear? What so hear? we just put out our first single on Spotify. It's called When I Get on the Whiskey. Yeah. Look it up under Craig Henry. And on YouTube, with the Craig Henry band, we put out our uh, first music first music video shot by Dustin's Way, Andy Upton, Aaron Connor, them some good guys. We got over 25,000 views in the first three months for our first one. We didn't expect that. So yeah, we appreciate everybody for the listens on that. That's pretty That's pretty big. So uh, you got like summer tour type stuff going on? You got jobs lined up? No, I still work construction with my daddy, and I'm gigging on the weekends or whenever somebody calls. Like, somebody called a few days ago, want me to come back up to Nashville for a writer's round on May the 10th, so I'm going to head up there. Yeah, that's good. That's anybody good that calls, we usually play in, so. That's good. So what's your story? You just pick up the cajon, too? Yeah, whenever whenever Craig picked it up, I just kind of picked up alongside of him and uh, went to Guitar Center one day and picked that cajon up and just been playing it ever since, just learned to play it itself by playing along with the guitar and stuff, listening to his music, playing well, along with know, that. Cajon's a wonderful instrument. Mm. It allows you to go out, don't have to have a drum set, and yep. still have some, some rhythm behind you. A whole lot easier to carry around. A whole, whole lot set. easier. A whole <laughs> lot easier. It's a big sound, around. too. You don't expect something like that to come out of a little box like that. But. Oh, I know. It's great. So, so tell me a little bit about songwriting. How does that work for you? So when I go to Nashville, I got a few buddies up there. I sit around, and we sit around, and we do the stuff that young fellas do in Nashville. We yeah. drink a little bit. and co-write yeah we do I write with a few people up there and we throw an idea out in the room we bounce it off each other and right. sometimes it takes 10 minutes sometimes it takes 30, 30 minutes sometimes it takes three or four days i'm gonna do one before they yeah uh, you can keep pounding whatever uh, you, on your pan, you can do it on your pants leg right. so, i'm gonna play uh one play that uh one's about to come out may 14th yeah. Or, or should I do Between Carolina? I'm going to do Between Carolina. It's one of my favorite ones to play. Okay. Sixteen cruising down the interstate A couple buddies trying to test our fate A green river floating and a flirting A teenage dream sat in my heart hurting a summer loving down on a riverbank, sneaking off to the sound of a little hang. It wasn't long till I figured out what those old men always talked about. I've done a lot of drinking, thinking, and a little heartbreaking. Singing to the radio, tearing up these old roads. I'm on 85. Out 40 east, 26 down towards the beach. We're chasing girls and dollars and a six string dream. Some things were done, you hope we'll never find you. And I keep mine between me and Carolina. Senior year. That ocean lake summer 400 miles on my forerunner It was one short week in paradise She and I We set the world on fire Now she's just a memory Between me and Carolina I've done a lot of drinking Thinking And a little heartbreaking Singing to the radio, tearing up these old roads. I'm on 85, out 40 east, 26 down towards the beach. The chasing girls and dollars and a six string dream. Some things are done, you hope will never find you. Of drinking, thinking, and a little heartbreaking. 
Singing to the radio, tearing up these old roads. On 85, out 40 east, 26 down towards the beach. Chasing girls and dollars and a six string dream. Some things were done you hope will never find you. Some things were done you hope will never find you. And I keep in mind between me and Carolina. And Carolina. Thank you, man. Thank you a lot. Thank you so much. All right. Why? Why you still got a little bit of time? You got a Facebook page too, or a we do. website or something? Uh, Facebook be under Craig Henry Music. My Instagram's Craig Henry Official. What's TikTok? Craig Craig Henry Music. Craig Henry Music too. <laughs> yeah. All and right. YouTube Craig Henry Band. Right. Uh, pretty easy. If you type in Craig Henry, you'll probably we'll, right. might pop up. That sounds good. I appreciate you guys doing this on a little short yes, notice like Thank this. Thank you for having us. We really right. appreciate it. Thank you. He sounds great. Hi, my name is Tim Connard. I play with Ziggy Pockets Band. We go on today at 4 o'clock here at Fabulous Shady Side Dragway. Shady Side Dragway in beautiful Bowling Springs. North Carolina. North Carolina. I get that right because it's just across the line. That's right. That's Carolina. exactly right. But uh, we're glad State to. Line Festival. Yes. State Line Festival. We are so proud to be back here. I'm glad they are back in operation uh, due to unfortunate circumstances. Yep. And uh, man, I am looking forward to it. Ziggy right. Pockets Band plays a nice combination of Ziggy Pockets music plus a little cover here and there. And, we are looking forward to it. Going to rock them out. What do you do in the band? I am the bass player in the band. So tell me about your members. We have four members in the band. Got an add-on today. Mr. Kyle Kelly will be doing guitar with us and singing some. We have Barry Kennedy on the drums, and he does vocals and does some leads with us as well. Have Johnny Barkley on guitar. And Johnny Barkley is the son of uh, Rusty, Rusty Barkley, Barkley from the part time blues, blues band, band and everything else you can right. think of. Probably the, the premier guitarist in Charlotte for many oh, years. Yes, One of the premieres, no doubt. And then we have Mr. Zachary Meadows himself, aka Ziggy Pockets, and he is our songwriter and sings and plays guitar. We owe it all to him because he books us and does what not with well, us. if somebody's wanting to get in touch with you, you got a web page? We or have a, a web page at ziggypockets.com or you can go Zachary Meadows on Facebook Okay. or you can find me on Facebook. I'm Tim Connard, C-O-N-A-R-D. There you go. We need to know that too. Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. So I guess you're a lifelong musician. We have some mutual friends. Uh, yes, we do. I've been playing music for years and years and years. I am from Mount Holly, North Carolina. Oh, no. Yes, I am. <laughs> As uh, many of our friends here from Mount Holly, Mr. David Childers, uh, Michael Hendricks, yes. Chips Baker, there's uh, quite a plethora of people it, from it, that area on the, a... the West Bank of the Catawba, as we call it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's really good, too, because uh, that is such a small town to have the number of musicians up there. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It sure is. So you, you were... Tell me you were with the Mount Holly. Mount Holly Hellcats. Hellcats. Mount Holly, and that was uh, a band that we had. David, we did a lot of David's original materials. We did some covers and stuff. Uh, you guys used to do the double door. Yeah, we used to do the double door. We played, uh, gosh, anywhere and everywhere we could play at around Charlotte. Did quite a few little gigs right. with some friends of ours there, and it was a good time. Back, yeah, yeah good, good times. Time. Charlotte used to have a extremely vibrant nightlife and uh, still has some but not as not, not quite the way it used to be. It's different. I don't know if that's with the demise of the clubs like the double door or, yes. or if it's just the music scene itself. Uh, could be a little bit of both. Yeah, could, could, could be, be a little bit of both. So so during that time did you start playing as a child? Or I started out as a drummer. Ah. Playing drums when I was a young man. My uh, 
mom and daddy got my, my first little set when I was probably about eight, nine years old and played up until I was in all through school and stuff. My band director, Mr. Robert Black, uh, rest his soul, he was probably the biggest influence on music. Sure. I'll cry if I talk too much about him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's cool. But, uh, that is uh, one of the things that makes a difference in musicians is formal training. Yes, and yes. Particularly starting out as a drummer, you got your timing got down. Got my timing down. Then I went and started picking out the bass guitar and, uh, really enjoyed that a lot guitar i picked it up first learned my basic chords right. then i found the bass and it's like i fell in love with the bass because i can i can move around and all i had to sit around sit behind them drums all night long right. yeah i was a percussion major in brevard oh, okay north carolina at the brevard school college up yeah. there we, yeah and that was back in 70 78 ah. <laughs> well you know you know then that's a well i don't know being a bass player that's a trade-off between drums and bass they're both kind of Kind of, uh, yeah, we're that backbeat. Do yeah, we are? And, the... and it's a lot of equipment to carry. You know, <laughs> I mean, bass, but I will tell you, being a bass player now, I play an Aguilar system that weighs less than my head. Yes, yes, to, yes, so. yes. Yeah, you're dragging those big ampegs uh, and everything about, else. Uh, <laughs> 125 pound head. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. You know. I've switched over. I got a little Fender Rumble 300 that it weighs 28 pounds, yeah, exactly. and I am. It's a little combo unit, and it's the best thing I've found. <laughs> I agree. I agree. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's amazing how it's changed over And I don't know if you're like me. I'm still playing my old Fender Precision that I've played since I was in, you know, since I got music. I do play, Got into it. I love mine to death. <laughs> I do play a Precision bass. This one, actually, I have several, but I'm a P bass man. I love it. That's great. You know, That's great. So, it's awesome. Uh, okay. So at some point, I guess you decided I gotta be in a band since I'm a bass player. I mean, bass is fun, but not as much fun by yourself. No, it is not. Uh, my friends that I played drums with started teaching me a little bit on guitar, and that's when I picked the bass up and started playing bass because I had another friend that played drums. Well, yeah. so I moved on over to the bass, and one of them being Michael Hendricks, who yeah. was a member of the Belmont Playboys and uh, just a fantastic musician good player and got we started that when I was in high school and then I started kind of picking up on playing a lot of different bands went through a spell there I played uh, hardcore punk rock for a long time in yeah, early 80s stuff, it was a uh, quite an intense time in my life and then uh, my wife and I had our first child uh, in 1981 and then uh, it was uh, been an interesting ride ever since then. Well, you know, you know, at least being a drummer and having friends that, that are drummers when you're starting out kind of lets you develop that pocket feel, you know? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And yes, you sir. You know, as a bass player, as opposed to a drummer or anything else, you can find work. Yes, sir. You that's know? exactly right. That's the, that's the best <laughs> thing about it. <laughs> bass players and keyboard players. Bass yeah. players and keyboard <laughs> I players. think we're a little bit easier to get along with. <laughs> Did I see that? I'm sorry. No, that, could, that could be true. Plus, you got two bass players here. Oh, my goodness. Yes, so, sir. So yes, we sir. We might agree with that. Yes, that sir. That might not be true. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I guess uh, uh, is this what you do now? This is what I do on the weekends and for fun. I'm in the electrical industry. Work for a company called Recor Electric, and I'm a warehouse manager there. Been with them for this is my fourth year with them. I was, before I worked in Charlotte, been been in the electrical industry for 40 years, and. Uh, don't quit your day, day job. job. Don't I, ever quit your day job. Unless you got a job that'll pay enough and then have a trade. Learn something. I agree. Learn I, something. You know, here's the deal. Quit your day job and you'll go back to it eventually. <laughs> That's you know, exactly right. I mean, I've been there and done that. Yes, you sir. Know, so, exactly so, right. And you wind up, unlike the people who do it all the time, you have retirement, I'm sure. Ah, that's exactly right. And healthcare. <laughs> and healthcare, <laughs> yes, which, sir. Which you, hear got that, a, you hear that, young musicians. You got to think about that stuff. Yeah, got a beautiful wife who supported me all my years of playing. She's been there for me, has not blinked an eye and said, Darling, I got a, this gig, such and such and such. And she's always been there supporting that. Now, if we got a vacation or anything coming up, I am 
informed of when this is going to happen and then we make it happen. You know, you know. <laughs> Support is everything. Yes, sir. You it make is. your night life really miserable without it. That's exactly right. So, exactly right. Well, this has been a great interview. Is there anything else I need to know? Just love and peace to everybody, my friends. That love and peace. Yeah. I enjoyed it, brother. Nice to meet you. Yes, sir.